How's it going, TVT Lions? This is Coach Jeff here after spring break. I hope you had a great uh, spring break. I hope you're able to rest and relax, but I hope I also hope you are able to get outside and move and have some fun. All right. So um, welcome back. All right. Um, I know it's hard because I don't like actually see you guys, um, but uh, number one, it's just good to kind of get back in the swing of things. I know it's hard because we're not back at school. Um, but I hope we're back soon because uh, I sure do miss all of you. Um, and uh, I just can't wait till we get back to school and get back to the whole normal uh, routine. Uh, we can get back to doing some uh, really fun activities, okay? So um, now that we're uh, back into the swing uh, of like virtual learning, um, we're gonna do a couple things today, okay? Um, so we're gonna do like a little coach's challenge, all right? So I'm gonna see who can beat coach in a uh, little uh, fun activity, okay? This is just for fun. Uh, it's kind of silly, and uh, it's just using items that uh, I found around the house. Um, and hopefully you guys can use some of these items. Uh, make sure to uh, ask mom and dad for help, um, and uh, you know we'll uh, have some fun together, okay? Um, so what we're going to do today, okay, is we're going to kind of simulate um, using a lollipop paddle uh, and a bean bag, okay? So the items that would uh, work best for you if you have them at home are balloons. Um, I don't have any with me right now, so I kind of improvise and I'm going to use something a little different, okay? Um, so number one, the first thing you're going to need is this, okay? Who knows what this is called? This is called a spatula, all right? So obviously, you got to uh, make sure mom and dad are um, around so that you, you, they can help you get this. Um, so we're going to kind of pretend this is our lollipop paddle. All right. So remember when we use lollipop paddles at school, um, we usually use it with balloons okay, and bean bags to do our flips. Okay. I just did a little activity with our older kids, um, which was using a, paper, uh, a toilet paper roll and a spatula. And we we're doing some flips just like so. Okay. Um, that might be a little hard for you guys. So we're going to use it a little bit different. Okay. Um, now, if you want to try that, like the older the older kids, if you want to kind of try to use a toilet paper roll and a spatula and try to work on your flips, okay, well, it's pretty difficult, okay, but you can just go ahead and have some fun with it, all right? Um, if you want to try that, go ahead. Um, I got 34 flips in one minute, okay? So if you want to try that, let's see how many you can do in one minute, all right? Now, uh, with the younger kids, okay, we're going to kind of use this. Um, as like a, a racket, okay? So we wanna try to hit an object, okay? So if you could think about a sport or an activity where you use a racket, uh, what kind of sport would that be? Maybe tennis, uh, ping pong, uh, badminton, okay? There's a lot of activities where we gotta use paddles, okay? Um, so we're gonna kinda simulate, we're gonna pretend the spatula is a paddle, okay? So I'm pretty sure all of us have a spatula at home, so hopefully we can grab one of those, all right? Um, so what I'm gonna use today, okay, again, I wish I had a balloon because it'd be a lot easier, um, but I have a little beach ball here, so I'm going to try to just use my beach ball as like a balloon today. Um, if you don't have uh, balloons or if you don't have this, um, I also think that you could use like a paper bag or like a Ziploc bag um, and then just blow it up. Okay, so put a little air in there and just kind of blow it up um, and it kind of floats. All right, it's a little difficult to control, okay, but you know, got to make do with what you got. All right. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to see how many times I can keep this thing in the air before it hits the ground, all right? So obviously more room around you would be better. Um, if you don't have too much room, okay, you know, just make do with what you got, all right? So you can do it two ways, all right? Two ways, all right? You can um, just try to hit the Ziploc bag or balloon up in the sky, okay, and see how many times you can hit it. Okay, so you know you can see how many times you can do it um, without it touching the ground, or you can give yourself a time limit of maybe one, one or two minutes. Okay, and uh, and see how many you can do in that time frame. All right, now um, this is kind of a little fun activity, a little silly, um, but I, I encourage you to just do like a couple rounds. Try like three, four, five rounds. All right, so this is something that could occupy you for a while. All right, so try to beat your own score. Right, we always talk about doing our personal best. Okay, so if you get 15 the first time, try in round two to get 16 to 20, all right? Uh, if you get 16 or 20, okay, try to do more the next round, all right? So remember, we're all, we always talk about improving and uh, beating our own personal best, okay? So I'm going to see how many I can do uh, without it touching the ground, okay? So it's going to look like this, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten, all right? 
So this thing touched the ground. All right, so the next time I would try to get 11, 12, 13. All right, uh, just have some fun with it. Um, you know, it kind of gets you moving around a little bit. Um, challenge yourself. Uh, you know, if a big Ziploc bag gets a little bit too easy, okay, try like a beach ball or any ball that you have around the house. Just here, just try to hit it up. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so remember, main thing, okay, get yourself in a nice athletic position, okay? You don't want to just stand here and go. Okay, you want to get yourself, bend your knees a little bit. Okay, here, okay, keep your eye on the ball, okay? And constantly try to get better and better, all right? So that's just kind of a little fun activity for you, okay? Um, that's pretty much it, all right? So remember, um, make sure that you're just moving around. That's just something fun for you to do uh, during PE class. Um, but remember, just send me the pictures or videos of you doing anything active uh, during the week, and uh, that'll count for your PE, all right? I hope you all have a great day. Um, I will see you guys Wednesday, all right? And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, parents, let me know if you have any questions. Remember, you just gotta send me like a little picture or video uh, throughout the week, and that's uh, how I know that your kids are getting PE credits. Um, let's see, am I missing anything? I think we're good, all right? Um, so again, hope you all had a good spring break. Hope you're getting back into the swing of things, um, and uh, hopefully I see you guys soon, all right? Have a fantastic day, and I will see you Wednesday. See ya.